Ja, die doen we. What's going on, Aaron? How you doing, brother? How everybody doing? Yeah, we about to go live. Uh, I know it's six, but uh, we're gonna um, give people time to come on. All right. Chef Guy Mitchell, how you doing? Good to see you on there. Good to see you on there. <clears throat> Brother, what's going on? Tina, how you doing? Pamela, how you doing? Yeah, we're gonna give a few more minutes, uh, get time for people to come on. Um, then I'll explain everything what we're gonna be good, uh, doing cooking tonight. So I'm glad y'all joining in. Uh, welcome to my home, my house, my kitchen. Brandon, how you doing? Uh, I've got a great um, dinner for you, a dish for you tonight. It's a, uh, it's pretty simple. A um, lot of, lot of, lot of steps in it, but uh, it's gonna be one. We're gonna do kind of like a uh, upscale, uh, what is it called, baby? But not fast food, but a uh, sandwich type um, meal tonight. Sliders. Yeah. Yeah. It's so. Nice. Uh, it's goodness. Yep. It's awesome. So uh, it's gonna be good. Um, but yeah, get a little more time, get people to come in, and we'll get started. Got about 13 people on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna um a few more minutes. We're gonna get we're gonna get started by rights and give people more time to come on. But again, um uh, as people come on, my wife, she has the phone, but tonight uh we're gonna I'm gonna prepare for you. We're gonna do uh Creole uh crab cake sliders. And uh, with a slaw to go with it, and uh, with a rum a lot, um, and then we're gonna also have uh, do some uh, white truffle uh, home uh, home fries. Okay, show you how to cut these. Not these, not a frozen fries. These are the real potatoes. Uh, show you how to cut them up and everything, and then um, and we're gonna use the air fryer for the fries though. So I will explain that as we go as we go um, go for tonight. So again, welcome everybody, and. Um, Couple more minutes and um, we're gonna get this uh, party started. So go ahead and um, everybody get whatever you like to drink, you know, your soda or wine or whatever it is you want to drink. Uh, go ahead and grab it. Uh, sit down, you know, at the table where we're looking from, and um, just join in here because we'll get started in about two or three minutes, and um, then get you out of here. I'm not gonna try to have you on too long tonight because I know we got other things to do, but just wanna again welcome you here to our kitchen. So. Uh, <clears throat> But I'm gonna get a phone uh, to my lovely wife, and she's the the beautiful camera camera person that does all the great. Hey, uh, welcome, welcome to and, our uh, kitchen. Hope you're hungry. I'm yeah. hungry. So, uh, so I'm gonna hand the phone over to her, and um, then we're gonna get started here. Uh, all right. Turn it. All right. So again, um, Chef Scotty, uh, welcome here. Uh, Blessing highly plate of cuisine, but this is the chewing chat. Chewing chat, uh, live cooking, Facebook live cooking, kind of quarantine, but uh, it's quarantine, not quarantine, but uh, but it's chewing chat live cooking uh, with me in my home. So welcome to my kitchen here in Warner uh, Robert, Georgia. Again, um, like I said, those this is I think going what the fourth week that we've been doing it. Yep, this is number four. Number four. <laughs> so uh, everybody that's been watching before, you know how I do it. First of all, we start on mise en place. So baby, come over here. We show people what we got. Oh. oh. All right. 
All right. So uh, right here we got a lot of things going on. Okay. Uh, I got my seasoning. Uh, this time I put on a plate so you can see Take it. The this, this is what's going to go inside the uh, the crab cakes. All right. Uh, Creole crab cakes. So uh, right here I got a uh, I got a uh, cracked black pepper. This is a uh, sea salt, um, parsley, fresh parsley, uh, Creole seasoning, a little garlic, a little cayenne pepper, and this is dry mustard. And uh, we're using dry mustard instead of uh, the bottle mustard because the dry mustard uh, kind of cuts through the fat of the uh, of the crab cakes. Uh, if you notice, most crab cakes recipes they use a dry mustard or uh, it gives it a little more uh, uh, tangy flavor, but it cuts through the fat of everything. And um, right here, you know, of course, you got the mayo that goes in the crab cake. You got the ramelade, an egg. Mm -hmm. We got some. Um, this is for my slaw. This is uh, apple cider and a little uh, sherry vinegar. Mm -hmm. uh, Worcestershire sauce, and we got some um, seasoning for our slaw. Oh, I got some opposite. What is that? Yeah, that we got the. Uh, I got two different type of crab. I got lump crab meat, all right, and then I got the uh, the, the regular, just the uh, white meat of the crab. Um, and I got lettuce right here. I got red lettuce, uh, cabbage. I mean, and uh, Napa cabbage, and, and um, lemons, and a potato. So, all right. So first thing, uh, got my pan. It's already been preheated. And this is my stove flat iron for it. We're gonna do the uh, bread on that. So right now we're gonna get started on the potatoes. And come over here, we're gonna do uh we're gonna air fry. Like right, those if, if you got a uh, if you got an air fry home, I mean it it's great. Uh, this is a great tool to use, uh sitting on what you want to. Um put it in there, it cooks it cooks the time, it cooks like about a half, time and a half. Uh, I did a whole chicken and I did this pot, I think it's about a four and a half pound chicken, whole chicken. It came out great. It, it was really great. good. Uh, Seasoned, yeah. juicy. Skin was crispy, it was juicy inside, but it took me about 45, 50, 50 minutes to cook in an air fryer. Aaron said he's been apprehensive about getting an air fryer. It's a great, great tool, great thing to work with. So, uh, <clears throat> so they can come with it. So we, we got a potato. It's right? just heating up right now, that's all. All right, uh, so, so what we got here is, this is gonna be for my home fries, of course. I'm gonna show you how to cut one up. Basically what I'm doing, cutting a flat portion, a surface at the bottom. So my potato, my potato won't uh, move as I cut it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna cut down. And depending on what thickness you want it, just cutting down on it, all right? And see how I cut down on the bottom so it wasn't moved, want to have a flat surface so it won't move. Don't roll around. It won't huh? roll around. Fingers uh, behind, thumb behind. Cut down, all right, just keep cutting down. All right, make sure you're careful, all right? And then I just finish cutting, okay? Um, and then what you can do next is uh, take them and then slice them how you want them, french fries, however thickness you want them, okay? All right, these are home fries, okay? Like I said, you can do frozen fries if you want to, but we're doing home fries tonight, all right? All natural. And you see, I start, I start to the left, and as I finish my product, I move it up to the right and get it out of my way. Okay. All right. Um, real quick, a lot of steps we're going tonight. Get it out of the way. And uh, very important, when you cut potatoes, don't let it sit. Okay. You don't want to let it sit because when you start doing that, it starts to uh, turn brown. Call, turn brown. The oxidation it turns brown. So you want to put it in water. All right. Put it in water. Uh, you're going to keep it in water for a while. Make sure you put it in the refrigerator, okay? Uh, you can uh, put it in the water in the refrigerator up to 24 hours. About 24 hours, uh, mm -hmm. it starts to lose its texture, okay? And also, put it in the water, it takes the, uh, the starch out of it and makes it uh, crispy, okay? So, uh, I got these cut. All right, so we're gonna, um, what over here? I'm Wait gonna a minute, up. she says no sound. Uh, can you hear me? Can y'all hear us? So, uh, Miss Francis said there's no sound. No, uh, can can I hear us? I'll give him some time to answer. Yeah. Let me see. Let's we'll see if anybody else could hear us. Oh, Pam said she could hear us. Okay. Everybody could hear us. All right. So uh, I don't bring know, Miss Francis might be on mute. So bring her here, babe. Okay. And so right here, I already got some that's already cut up. All right, it's been in the refrigerator um, all day, so I just let it sit out to kind of dry. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw these, uh, throw them in my air fryer. You put them in the yep. bottom put, base. Put them in the bottom of them. Okay. 
Can you see that? Got him. Cause these gonna cook about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them in there. Um, I'm gonna throw a little oil on it. What kind of? That's the truffle Just, oil. Uh, this not truffle oil goes on last. All right. Just throw a little oil on there. All right. Kind of toss them around. All right. And we're gonna put them in the air fryer, let them cook. Thank y'all. All right. All right. So those gonna cook. Put them in the air fryer and let it do its thing. All right. All right. That's it. What, 385? 385, about 20 minutes. It's like 385 degrees, about 20 minutes. All right. All right, back to the crab cakes. You so, put those in the water. Yeah, I'm going to put these in some water, okay? Those are the ones he just yeah, cut. Yeah, these are the ones he just cut put in the water. But, uh, I'm going to do that, put that in water. And, uh, any questions? I got any questions? Let me know if y'all have any questions so far. He's just putting the ones he just cut up in water, get them ready for the next time. All right, those in the water. All right, so next step. All right, I want to, uh, crab cakes, I want to go ahead and I want to cut my slaw up. Okay, then my swank. So I got a red cabbage. I already cut them in half, okay? You see that little stem that's in there? All right, I kind of take that. Just pop it out. I make a V and I pop it out. Pop it on that. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you are, uh, like I say, when you're using knives, make sure you are, uh, you careful with your knife. Okay. Red cabbage. And then I have the Napa, Napa cabbage. Okay. Put it in there. In a V shape. I said I already cut them in half. And I just pop it out. All right. Napa cabbage, red cabbage. All right, and so our, these cabbage have already been washed. Hey, y'all. All right, so what I'm doing, we're doing this, this thin, all right, thin strips. All right, we're going to take them. We're going to throw them in a bowl. All right, this is for the slaw. All right, same thing, red, thin slips. And I Touch do the red and uh, Napa just give it a little color. All right, give it a little color. Make it look pretty. All right, so this is going on the sandwich, so they can see it now. Okay. That's how they do it. That's how they look right there. So you don't need much because it's going on the sandwich. So we take So that's about half of a half, right? About half of a half. That's yeah, about a fourth of each one. Side. All right, clean my cutting board off. Always pour and clean it. Clean your cutting board off and your, and your um, this knife right? All right, so we got that done. So now, what I want to do, I want to uh, work up my... Uh, so the fries are cooking in the air fryer. The, fry. the cabbage cut up, it's all chilling right now. You about to season that up right quick? Yeah, I'm about to season this up. And what I want to do, I want to uh, put this right here. All right, we're going. this is going to be our little dressing for it. This is what apple cider vinegar, a little sherry vinegar, okay? That's right there. The sherry vinegar. And, um, we're gonna take uh I'll put that in last. We're gonna get a little mustard, put a little mustard in there. I mean a little uh, mayo. Some mayo. Alright, just a little mayo, okay? You don't have to do much, just a little mayo. Alright, just something to hold, you know, I don't want too much in there. Okay. About two mayo. That's about two good squirts. Yeah, about two good squirts, and then we're okay. going to uh kind of mix it up, alright? Give it a whisk. With the whisk is in my sauce, all right? I don't want much on there. All right. A little goes a long way, right? And you can smell the uh, the apple cider vinegar and also the sherry, the sherry vinegar that's in there. So I put that inside. That's enough? Huh? Yeah, it's gonna be because we got that rum a lot. Okay. All right, then I throw my season in there. All right. Everybody with me? With me, hey, yes, they with you. All right, so get that good little toss. And he say, hey, fam. All right, get the good little toss. And, then, and if you need more, see that? See how you look at here? See how it's kind of wet looking because you don't need too much in there. All right. Just uh, breaking it on down. All right, huh? just toss it up. And we're going to set that to the side. Let the flavors start to uh, uh, meld together. All right. And uh, you can put as much uh, sauce and look, I mean, seasoning you want to. I got a little smoked paprika. Uh, salt, pepper, and... <laughs> Go and, past uh, the says she late. She trying to catch up. She trying to catch up? Okay. 
All right, so that's our slaw. That's gonna go on our, uh, on mm, the crab cake. Looks great. All right. That's right. So, got the potatoes. That's right, Nene. And the air fryer. Okay, got my slaw done to sit to the side. Uh, Rumelade sauce is already, already pre-made because it hasn't sit for a while, so that's already done. But I give the recipe out there for the Rumelade. Uh, basically, mayo, uh, the Creole seasoning, what's our sauce, uh, lemon juice, uh, salt and pepper, and um, and you put hot sauce in there. Where the Rumelade well. sauce at? Let's Rumelade see. right here. It's, oh. But it's already been done, so, but I give the recipe for that, okay? So now what we want to do... Don't turn him into a Louisiana boy yet. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> Now what we're gonna do, we're going to uh, build our, uh, our crab cakes, okay? Build the crab cakes. Okay. Any questions for the mm -mm. Jacqueline says the salt, the slaw looks great. Nene say teamwork. That's right, Nene. Yep. All right. So uh, bell peppers, all right? What's going? On? Huh? This going? Oh, this This, this is going in my. Uh, Use half. This is going in the uh, crab cakes. Okay. Okay. I take that little, you know, that little spiny membrane out. out. Yeah. I don't like that. Uh, any kind of bitter tasting. Take it out. All right. And um, same thing. We're just gonna dice these up. All right. Dice them up. All right. Dice them up. These little julienne cut right now. I'm doing julienne cut. Smells good. I take it, I right, turn it, and we just dice it. All right, dice it. All right, dice it. All right, dice them up. All right, and these going inside the crab cakes. All right, then you can kind of mix them up if you want to just a little bit to get them finer, depending on the thickness you want them, but you don't want them too thick because you don't want to bite, be biting in chunks. Latoya says she likes that the slaw doesn't have a lot of mayo. No, not a lot of mayo. And then you, you don't have to put mayo in it at all. You can just put the apple cider vinegar um, in it if, as well. You know, if you don't want a mayo base, that way you don't have to worry about being left out with the mayo in there. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we got that done. That's going to go on my slaw. So now I'm going to work on the base uh, of my uh, crab cakes. Okay, so we got the uh, mayo. Okay. Okay, got a little mayo. This is going to be as a binder. Okay. All right, put some of that in there. Okay. Then we got uh, put some Worcestershire in there. Okay. Put a little uh, lemon juice in there. All right, lemon juice. Everybody with me? Yeah. All right, stir that up. Make sure. All right, so give it a good stir. All right, then we're gonna drop. Egg. All right. Very important. Uh, doing an egg. Um, crack it over a, uh, a little ramekin. That way, if any shells go in it, you ain't got to worry about it. Going into your pan. All right. There's just a little uh, tip. One egg in there. All right. And we're going to um, whisk that up together. Hey, LaShawn. Right, whisk it up. This is my base for my crab Milton. cakes. All right. So far, mayo, Worcestershire. Um, egg, put that in there, give it a good whisk. All right, then we're gonna take our bell peppers. The red bell peppers. All right, we're gonna drop those in there, okay? All right, and based on how many uh, bell pepper you use, it depends on how many crab cakes uh, that you're fixing, okay? All right, put that in there, okay? Uh, give it a little whisk. Another whisk. Okay. Crabs going, you see I had to put the crab in there. That's going in last. Okay, so now I got my seasoning, okay? I got my parsley. Parsley. I got my uh, Creole seasoning. Creole seasoning. My salt, my pepper, cayenne pepper. This is uh, garlic, and this is... Uh, the dry mustard. Dry mustard, okay? Again, the reason I use dry mustard is the fact that uh, that mustard is going to cut through the fat. It's gonna cut through the fat of the crab cakes, okay? Everybody's looking in there? All right, so now, the best part, lump crab. Mm, look at that. Put it in there. All right. Real crab meat. Real crab, put it in there. That's right. 
this, right? Now, very important, all right, what you want to do is you want to, uh, you don't want to stir it, you just want to kind of fold it in. You want to just fold it in because you don't want to uh, mess up those beautiful, uh, beautiful lump crabs in there. You want those yes. kind of stay intact. But everybody notice, I don't really have any fillers here. You can put a little bit of breadcrumbs if it's too loose. Uh, put some breadcrumbs in there, but I wouldn't put too much because you want to taste your fresh crab. Uh, but you can put a little breadcrumbs uh, crumbs in there if you like. And um, Yeah, none of that. But we, we don't use breadcrumbs. We just kind of let it sit. But very poor. Once you do this, all right, that's pretty much done. So what you get, you want to sit. Let this sit. You can make up your patties if you want, uh, your crab cakes, and put it in the fridge, but it has to sit because it has to sit. Right. So you can make the patties up now you or can, later, but they got to sit. Yeah, you, you can make them up now or later, but it has to sit um, in the refrigerator. It's cold, so I already got something that's already set. Okay, so these right. going to go in the refrigerator. And he right. say, now nah, that's crab. <laughs> yeah, that's crab. All the Baltimore people. All right, that's crab. So Coleslaw still chilling. I already did some up. Those been setting. These right? been sitting, all right. And when they sit, you see all the juices and stuff, the, the uh, that liquid, all right, it's kind of went to the bottom. That's what I want because I want all that going because I want to stay intact when I cook them, all right? Those are- uh, Let it sit, let the liquid come out. All right, so those are done. We're gonna, we're gonna put these on the, uh, on the pans. We're gonna, we're gonna cook those up, but let me clean this up right quick, all right? Anybody have any questions so far? Look how beautiful those mounds look. Ooh, you gonna eat that. I don't do yep. Braylon like crab cakes because that's. I'm not sure if you like. Uh, you yeah. should, but um, but yeah. I don't think you know, All right, we're gonna bring this over here. All right, like I said, my pan has been preheating. I don't want to turn up too high because I don't want the uh, the crabs need to cook through, um, need to heat up and, can, and cook through. So I got. So it's like on a medium heat right now. Yes, yeah, so it's been on medium. Everybody know I got. Some duck fat. No duck fat. All right, you don't have to have use duck fat, but uh, it makes it, it makes it so good. So if what would they have, use if they don't have duck you fat? You can use regular um, olive oil, canola oil, or okay. anything like that. Um, also, I got to put a little butter in there with it. All right, just a little butter. All right, that that milk. Okay. Everybody with me so far? Alright, so we're gonna let this melt. Cut the light on so you hey, can see. Kim. All right, so now I want these just to cook, okay? Very important. When you do them, make sure you put them in the refrigerator, okay? Yeah, wait. So how long they gotta sit in the refrigerator before send you can put them in the uh, pan? I like the, I like mine to sit in there for about 30 minutes to an hour. Okay. Uh and they can sit in there overnight if you want to. Those are gonna go in there. So the longer the better? Longer the better, so it'll sit. All right, so those gonna cook. All right. So the fry still frying in the air fryer. Fry we got about seven fry. minutes left. Coleslaw is over there cooking in the sherry vinegar and the mayo. So these cooking. Um, and now the crab cakes are in the Now the crab the cakes are in. Uh, Potatoes and fries are cooking. <laughs> and, um, uh, I'm trying to say, glad some are sitting in the fridge. I'll call you tomorrow. <laughs> come on over, come on over, Aunt Trina. Yeah, come on over, okay? So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the station a little bit. Get that out of the way. Yes, I wish you was here too, Nene. Definitely try to make it. What was the last dish we cooked, babe? Was the, um, uh, what was the last dish you cooked? I'm trying to think of who all sent pictures of the last dish. Last dish I cooked was, uh, we did, the, uh, it was the, uh, what was it? I did a red snapper and I did, um, somebody helped me out. That's what oh, I'm it was the, the, the pasta. The pasta. Yes, yeah, so okay. shout out to everybody that sent pictures of their pasta. It all looked great. I noticed a lot of people didn't use the crawfish. You're missing out on that flavor. That there's an extra layer of flavor for the crawfish. So don't see sleep now. on it. See how the fries are going? Just air fries. Just, just, oh, just, this is halfway. Say halfway turn. Halfway turn. So I'm just kind of turn them, kind of shake them a little bit. But I'm gonna put them back and let them finish cooking. All okay. Right? All right. So those I got six more minutes on those. So when they come out, all right, I'm going to. Crab uh, cakes are starting to sizzle. 
Yep. So, oh, uh, y'all, they smell so good. Let those cook. Just want to brown and kind of. Uh, um, Jacqueline says the duck fat a uh, strong or mild flavor. It's, a, it's, it's not a strong. It's a. Uh, it's not a strong. It's just a high temperature oil. Yeah, well, right? It's a high, yeah, high temperature uh, cooking oil, but it gets a lot of flavor. Duck fat has a lot of flavor in it. Mm -hmm. You know, salt is kind of. It's uh, not strong. It's not a strong flavor, but it just any any type it's of just, high smoke uh, point oil is good because what I mean high smoke point is that. Uh, you can turn the temperature up high and it takes a uh, high temperature for it to start smoking. You don't want to use the oil that, that as soon as you turn the temperature, then the smoke's automatic. So find a, a high temperature cooking oil. Um, you can find olive oil. There's some high temperature cooking olive oils. Um, so it just um, eliminates having so much smoke in the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, you know, a high smoke point. It gives yeah. It, yeah, so, uh, basically, so these are going to cook, all right, about, about, about three or four minutes um, per side. And um, you can flatten them out if you want, but I want these kind of thick, okay? So we'll let that cook and then we'll flip them over, okay? But uh, basically, uh, pretty much everything is the crab, you know, you can eat by itself. Um, only thing is in there is the egg, raw egg, but there's only one raw egg in there, so it won't hurt you. But basically, we're heating it through, we're browning both sides of it, okay? Yeah, browning both sides of it. And I want to get that. Yes, Cole Pastor, I love the air fry, it's awesome. Air fry is really neat, all right? Really, really neat, because it's cooking time in half and everything, okay? Uh, so, did these ask, is there a certain mayo you prefer? Um, nope, your particular mayo. You can use an olive oil um, uh, mayo. It's pretty good. It has olive oil in it. Uh, whatever brand you prefer, but it's, it's up to you. You can use a light mayo if you want. Um, and you can even substitute mayo if you don't like mayo. Use, maybe use some type of uh, plain yogurt or uh, sour cream, but of course it's going to change the taste of your crab cakes. Mm. Um, but the mayo just kind of works as a, as a bond that gives a lot of uh, creaminess to it as well. So. Um, oh, Cole Pastor's sister asks, where did you get the crab meat from? Uh, I got it from Kroger's. Got it from Kroger's. Yeah, Kroger's. I got it from Kroger's, okay? And crab meat, um... Uh, so, yeah, you had the, you had two types. You had the lump crab meat and the... I had the, the lump uh, crab, then I had the uh, white crab meat. And the white special. crab meat. Uh, you can get the dark, uh, dark meat, uh, kind of like a brownish, it's white, but the, the dark brownish type comes from, um... The uh, shell portion of the, of the uh, crab, and then okay. the white comes from the claws the claw. and the legs. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And there's a sweet taste to it. Okay. So uh, we'll turn those over. Yep. Cole Pass, I always tell you, Kroger is like it's, that's his girlfriend. I always say he's going to his girlfriend's house. Yeah. She said that's your favorite place. <laughs> <laughs> Every day when he drives Braylon off from school, he'll go to Kroger, that, whether we needed anything or not. All right. <laughs> now see how I got a nice golden brown on that? Oh, that's beautiful, babe. Nice golden brown, okay? That's what you that's what you want to see, okay? That's what you want to see. All right. Uh, and crab cakes are really, they got a sweet taste to it. And um, they, they're kind of expensive, depending on what size you get. The uh, uh, I think the uh, lump crabs, uh, eight ounces, cost you almost $20, depending on where you, where you get it from. So they're a little bit expensive. It's not your everyday, you can't eat it every day, okay? Um, yes, we can. Well, you got everyday money, but we're quarantined now, so we can't. <laughs> we we, we eat what's in this house, huh? You gotta eat, or, you know, I say you go out in the house and get stuff as well, but, uh, but, all right, so now I wanna, I got some bread. I wanna do some bread, uh, nice Rios bread or some type of soft uh, uh, bread. Uh, these are uh, uh, white slider sandwich buns. You can use Rios buns. Uh, uh, whatever, Some whatever. slaver buns. Yeah, I prefer brioche because they're nice and soft, okay? All right. All right. So as that's... Uh, put it on the cutting board. Yep, yeah, I'll put it on. All right. Those look so good. All right. So we're going to cut these, okay? We're going to cut them in half. All right, then we're going to kind of toast them a little bit, all right? Alright, toast them in half. <laughs> and uh, sometimes another good thing you do, if, if you don't want a lot of filling in it, you can take some of the bread out of it. Alright? Take some of the portion of the bread out. If you want a lot of bread, you want most of the crab, take, take a piece of bread out of it. Mm, helps it sit a little better on the crab. And then you, you, the you want to get as much bread. Yeah. You want get you, you want you want most of the crab, okay? That's right. You want mostly crab, so you can try to take some of that out mm -hmm. of it. Jacinda says she don't even uh, eat shellfish, but this looks good. Yep, take some yeah. of that out, okay? And then what we're gonna do, 
Alright, I'm just going to um, get my butter. And what we're gonna do? Get on the side. Just, just butter on flat iron. And like, so you don't have to have. A, if you don't have a flat iron, that's fine. Uh, you can use a regular pan if you like. Um, just whatever you got in your house. And uh, basically, <laughs> just gonna let these sit. I think my, I hear my potatoes going off. Let's open those up and see how they look. But I'm just gonna put this down there. I'm gonna See how Just open up the fries. Okay, yeah, these these are good. Okay, so uh, yep. What I'm gonna do? Put them in here. I'm gonna put them in the oven. The oven is on on, on warm. Warm them and, up um, in the oven. Nice thing you wanna do. Okay, once you get your fries out, so my bread is browning. Crab cake sizzling. Crab sizzling, okay. Just Bread is browning. Okay. And fries um, going in the oven. Fries, so they what warm. are we going to do? All right, now's the time when they're hot. Uh, put the seats on there. Okay, right, pull this on there. Because this meat now is going to start to cook. Okay, so I'm going to put the seats on there. All right, pull this on there. Because this now, the, the, the salt is going to adhere to the, to the fries. Because they just came out of the, uh, the fryer or the oven. You can also deep fry them if you want. Um, or put them in the oven. Or, like I say, if you got an air fryer, use your air fryer. Yes. Okay, and next thing now, uh, here comes the, uh, the truffle. The truffle oil, all right? And you don't want too much on there, all right? You don't want it overpowered, all right? This is the white truffle oil, okay? Truffles are very, very expensive to get an extra real truffle. Um, like say, a black truffle and white truffle, we have two different kinds, black truffle. White truffle is a little more expensive because they don't have a shell on them as they grow. And uh, black truffles, they do, but the uh, black truffles will run you probably about maybe 60 some dollars an ounce, but the mm -hmm. white truffles gonna run you about $170, $180 an ounce. All right, so. Uh, oh, oh, that's a, um, that's a air fryer. I think it's, is it six or four? I think it's six that's quarts. Six quarts. Okay. Six quarts. Cole Pastor asked, where did you get that basket from, babe? Which basket? That, the, the one you put the fries in. Oh, uh. That, that came with one of the pot sets, co pastor. Pot had, yeah. You know, we got so many pots and pans. We don't know. We yeah, just. So, these, so we're going to take these out because those are done. Let's get them out. Let's get them out. Let's Crab cakes is ready. Let's get them out. Let's get them out because they're done. Cut everything off. Chicken with bread. I want them to burn. All right. Just are they get toasting? A little crust on it. Yeah, they're toasting yep. up. All right. Got the butter sitting in there. Butter sitting on there, so we're gonna take these out. All right, I don't want those to burn. Look, look at those. All right, this is nothing but a uh, nice moisture inside of it. They no fillers. No breadcrumbs. No fillers whatsoever. Look at that. None of that. They can see it. That, that's watch that. It's hot. Gotcha. I'm gonna burn my three. Right. Please don't burn me, baby. All right, y'all see those? Mm. Watch your arm on that. I want you to burn. Okay. So I'm going to put these in the oven let them keep warm. Okay. Because now we're ready, y'all. Uh, I think we're ready to plate. All right. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for the plating part? Ready for the plating part. That's the best part. All right. I mean, it's time to eat. And um, before I do that, I'm going to. I'm gonna cut up some uh, Looks good. Yes, you you got don't sleep on the truffle oil. I love truffle in everything. I got my, some truffle my hot wife, sauce. She's, she's crazy about the truffle yes. oil. Yes. Yeah. She's crazy about it. And like I say, uh, you know, truffle oil, a lot of people got different thoughts about the truffle oil because, they, you know, they think once you get keep eating the, uh, using the truffle oil that you don't really acquire the real taste, the taste for the real, um, the actual uh, truffles. But uh, it's hard to find truffles. The restaurants get them, they order them, they order them, um, bring them in. But as far as the grocery store, you're not going to find them in there. And they're very expensive. But truffle oil, you got some of the shavings of the truffles in it as well. So... Um, that's done. So I just want to cut up some parsley for for garnish. Fresh parsley. Always bring you fresh parsley. Um, yes, no. Hope here. Um, do you post the, the recipe? You just send it to whoever asks for it. Uh, I just send it to whoever asks, but I can post it. Yeah, I, I'll you get post that, it. You can, you'll see that recipe. Miss Francis said, oh, she want to help taste. That's All the right. best part. Yes. All right, she want to help taste. <laughs> all right, so fresh parsley done. Fresh parsley right. cut up. So now we're going to plate. All right, let me get everything out of the oven. Put it on the plate. 
Okay, put it on the plate. We're gonna play it over here, baby. Okay. All right, bring everything on here. Give me something to drink. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm a plate. I, I like stuff different, okay? Come on in, Toya. She says she outside. Give me some fries. She outside. We tell Braylon to give you something through the door. All right. So I want to, let me start over here. I'm going to bring it over there. All okay. Right. So I'm going to come on this side. Come on this side. All right. Marumala sauce. Let me get it. Ooh, nice toasty bread. Get that butter in there. All right, take some rum lot sauce, put it on there. Yes. All right, take your crab cake. Y'all, it smells so good in here. All right, take some of this nice, nice slaw. Put it on there. If it falls, that's fine. Just pick it up, stack it back on there. Yes. It fall right on in our mouth. All right. Put it on the bit on there. <laughs> Denise said, what you drinking? Huh? That's a, uh, that is a, gin a cherry, ginger, lime um, drink. Cherry, ginger, and lime. Okay. Got one. I'm going to put another one on there. That one's for me. <laughs> All right. Some more. All right. Run a lot. Let's see, I got my. Yeah, put it in the hole. She likes a lot of sauce in hers, my wife. All right? Yes. Put that on there. All right, get some more slaw. <laughs> she said the fact your kitchen is clean makes the food look so much better. Oh, no, we don't, can't eat out of a dirty kitchen. No, can't eat out of a dirty kitchen. You right. know. Can't eat out of a dirty kitchen. And these are... Gotta look at that grade on the dough, right? Good old crab cakes right there, okay? <laughs> Uh, All right, look here. at that. Right, then I got my trophy fries. Can't forget about the fries. Don't forget about the fries. All right. I don't even like ketchup on it once you put the truffle on. I'll just eat them just like that. Okay, so my fries, I'm just going to take them. I'm just going to put them in here. And like I say, you, if you need some more salt, put more salt on there. But, uh... Let me taste one. Good. Good. You're not a truffle fan. But it's All right. good. Yeah, they're good. And I said then if you put more salt on there if you want it. <laughs> Cold pass the rub what is? You know I like to eat. Yep, I say um put a little more salt in there. <laughs> Angela said that's a unique plating board. Yeah, yeah. You know, people know people that follow me know me. I, I do stuff different. I'm not your average. Yes. Uh, that's right, Corey. I do you see different. my 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 camera work just brings it all out. Put a little parsley on there, and then I garnish it a little more, a little more parsley. All right. And um, there you have it. All right. And then um, all right. Let's put a little more. Uh, Get those fries. Put some that water. bread is crusting over. I'm gonna pet Rika around there. There you go. <laughs> go back to say, tell us how to spell it, Lord, help us out. <laughs> say, Lord, help us. Go past this. Smells so good. It's just, just a delightful, just ready to eat. Scent. I'm surprised Braylon haven't came down the stairs yet. No, you ain't still upstairs, but uh, but yeah, that's you got your crab cakes. Uh, I'm gonna let my wife taste a little bit, and get a picture of them. We're gonna see, so gonna taste it yes. up. Yes. Who coming to help me? Miss Francis says she come over be a taste tester. Come on, be a taste tester. Oh, Val say send her that um the the recipe for your drink. You says cherry, cherry lime, and what else? Yeah, I said I sent it to her. All right. <laughs> Need guy to come take a bite. Yeah. All right. We're gonna my wife. She I'll gonna, be the guy right now, man. She gonna she gonna be the uh, taste test. So get you uh, go ahead and get your hair right and um, <laughs> so you can taste it. All right. What one be first? I said this one's gonna be mine right here. Huh? 
All right, uh, everyone. Uh, again, these are uh, Creole crab cakes uh, with a white truffle or home fries. So my wife's going to be the taste tester. So let me let you look. I'm about to get all over my mouth. All right, and this is supposed to get on, you know, because it's. Mm. Yep, and you you get, you get the the crunches of the bread. All right, the and soft the in the middle. Which is so crunchy and you, it's so good. The soft gets a little little acidity inside of it because you know you got the uh, the sherry vinegar in it, the apple cider vinegar, and then you got the home fries. All right, with the white truffle oil on top of it. Uh, all natural fries. That is so smoked good. Smoked paprika, and then you got you um your uh, parsley, fresh parsley. Have I told y'all I love you today? No, you haven't told me that. Oh, yeah. I love you, babe. I love it's you so back. Good. Yep. <laughs> so. Uh, so everybody, so that that's again, that's uh uh tonight, and like I say, it's it's, it's kind of simple, but uh it's a lot of a lot of different steps in it. Uh, like I tell the one before, uh, make sure you time everything out. Or what cooks the longest? Um, okay, I didn't wipe my mouth. Yep. I turn it back around. What what cooks the longest? Then uh you want to make sure that you do that first. And of course, you know, mise en place is everything. Um, you want to make sure that you know potatoes, if fresh potatoes, you can use frozen potatoes if you want. Oh, that's fine, but nothing like good old um, home fries, or real potatoes, okay? And uh, cut them up, show you how to cut them up, make sure you put them in water, very important, so they won't turn colors and oxidize on you. Um, but here you is, um, like I said, this is my plate. You use whatever plate you want, you don't have to use that, but Creole crab cake sliders um, with your slaw. This is a... Uh, <laughs> with, with so a, said, I know y'all hear me honking outside. <laughs> uh, you out there. And um, with the home fries, white truffle home fries, so... Uh, Again, this is uh, uh, Thursday night, not Wednesday night, Thursday night, Chew and Chat Live Cooking. That's right. Uh, with Chef Scotty. And um, just glad y'all uh, again had a chance to join me, join us in our kitchen, all right, as we cook as we cook live. And so, uh, uh, if somebody had different things, you want, I'm going to send out a recipe. Uh, if you want to cook it, if you do, do it. Uh, plate it up for me, send me a picture of it. Uh, but use your own creation, all right? Use your own creation. Um, uh, coloring arts is about uh, seeing things, you know, as a painter, you get paint, same thing when I plate, I put it on a plate, it's a portrait of how I visualize, and this is how I visualized it, um, before I even made it, a I visualized A portrait you this. can eat, a yes. A portrait you can eat, so, uh, again. <laughs> Cole Pastor say she right behind toy, come on y'all, come yeah. eat. <laughs> so, um. Thanks Monte, he said it looks great. Uh, glad you enjoyed it. All right, so, uh, again, thank y'all for joining in, um, as always, uh. Everyone stay safe. The door has been opened back up. Um, Is that toy at the door? <laughs> toy at the door. Uh, somebody at the door. No, nobody at the door. But yeah, uh, still quarantine. Georgia, you know, has open back uh, places. Uh, business open back up. But if you go out, just use uh, wisdom. Uh, you know, use why God gave us uh, uh, wisdom. You know, we, we, we don't, he didn't give us the spirit of being fearful, but we did. We do have wisdom. So use wisdom when you go out. Uh, to these places, uh, put your mask on, wash your hands and gloves, whatever it is. Social but, distance. Yeah, social yes. distance because you want to come back home to your family, okay? So, again, um, God bless you. Uh, continue to do you know, do great things. Have fun. Make make cooking uh, fun. Make cooking fun. I know my, my, my family, my parents, everybody, they enjoy cooking. They've been cooking and cooking and cooking. But I want all of you to uh, enjoy cooking. Get in there with your spouse, your, your, your kids, whoever it is. Enjoy cooking. Cooking can be fun. Do something that you like. Do something different. And that's why I want to bring you. So again, Chef Scotty, uh, thank you for joining in our kitchen, our home, me and my wife, Lawanda, my beautiful wife. And uh, let's put it together for we end. Uh, and uh, we just said thank y'all again uh, for joining in. And come on, I'm right here. Yep. Just thank you again for joining in. And, thank um, y'all, yes. And uh, being a part of uh, what we love to do, my passion is cooking. So uh, again, And my passion is eating. Her passion is eating, of course. <laughs> but, uh, so keep the pictures coming, y'all. We love it. Share your pictures with us when you make the dishes at the house. Yeah, share the pictures with us. And then uh, we go again, uh, probably again next Thursday. Uh, I sit down and think about what I'm going to cook. I know uh, we got a couple people on some vegetarian meals, so we might do, got uh, you covered, Toya. do a veggie yes. meal or something like that. So, but... But we'll, we'll let you know, okay? But uh, thanks for tuning in, and God bless you. Y'all have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Love y'all. Thanks.